This is Ms. Brown from Skyline High School. I was calling to let you know that the incident was reported to the Professional Standards Office. And this is Dr. Lombardi. I think we got cut off before. Uh, I am here in the, the, the district policy regarding any pornography. It's GRAA exhibit. It's on, uh, it's on the Dallas ISD website. Um, I do want to let you know that I have uh, professionally taken care of the word food porn on any site of Skyline High School. So uh, professionally, that's not a, a good call. We don't need no That has to do with the campaign. I mean, I'm yeah, talking about just I, I what the right thing what, to. What he's doing, but no, I'm saying. Do I'm doing, but I think when I tell people what I will do, um, that's you know the, the contrast should pretty much speak for itself. Can I say? Can I say like screw the campaign? The guy's doing something wrong. He's talking about bringing and introducing pornography to kids at school, and. I'm not talking about the campaign. I'm just saying we're doing the right thing right now. You're a teacher. You got young kids. You know, I mean, you should even be more interested in going after his throat because because of the community, not because of a campaign. I mean, protecting our children I, is I my priority. You. I, I hear you. You're, you have every right to raise that issue. Uh, it's not an know, issue, now, Corey. Now, this has nothing to do with the campaign. What's right? When we spoke at the after, outside of the homeowner associated meeting or whatever, you said that. Uh, you would, that was inappropriate, and that's something that you would never do. But this guy's doing it, you know about it, and you're not wanting to do anything about it or say anything about it. That's like, that complacency is how people are able to attack our children. And you're a teacher, and you got small children, Corey. Again, that's an issue you're very fair to raise. I'm, you know, I'm fair to defend myself in whichever way I will. But again, I think accepting the whole premise that that, it's somehow a campaign issue. It's not a campaign not issue, issue Corey. We're not talking about a campaign. We're talking about what's right and what's wrong. See, I do this full time. I do this full time. All day. This has nothing to do with the campaign. I've been a full time activist for 10 years. So every day, regardless of a campaign, when something's wrong, especially regarding children, I mean, I'm an, I mean, I go, I go there. And you're just sitting saying you're going to sit back because you're campaigning? 
Well, the, the problem is you still have you still have to pick. You still have to pick. There are, there are a million things wrong, and as a leader, you have to pick which ones you're going to prioritize. And you're choosing to prioritize Adam about Bas- No, I'm not prioritizing that. That is what's the issue at hand right now. That is what that's the last situation that I saw and that I found that needed to be fixed. Again, when I'm talking to people, I'm I'm hearing homeless issues, I'm hearing affordable housing, I'm not hearing anything about food porn with all due respect. I mean, yeah, it's it's I'm not saying it's an appropriate uh, use or I'm not defending any, anything that he did, but again, if I get into this like back and forth with you know, am I being complacent because I'm not as amped up as you are? About this it's not about being amped up. It's about just saying anything about it. That's, that's fine. It, I, I, again, if people want to talk to me about that, that's fine. If there's a, if there's a question on the floor by the moderator, that's fine. But you're not going to call DISD yeah. and follow up with it and make sure that this person's disciplined, make sure the kids are okay, make sure the parents know. You're not going to do that. Like, that's what human beings do regardless of being a council member or not. That's what, that's what a decent human being does. Now, you just lost my respect, Corey. Yeah. 